you know, I told you at the start of the show that we have some new tech students here, and I think they're trying to take my job. But I feel this man is here to take my job quietly. He's been here about 700 times. Our <laughs> resident family relationship health specialist, but he's someone that I'm always happy to see. His name is Anthony Gordon. And this time to tell you if you really can't be too dependent on your relationship. And of course, he has the indicators for you to check off from an article in Madame Noir, I think. So it's pronounced good morning, sir. You're right. It's pronounced like that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Great to see you as usual, sir. Um, before we get specific, right. is, is it morning, you can be too to dependent be on your relationship? Mm, say it again. Before you get specific, you can be too dependent on your relationship? Oh, definitely. Definitely? Yeah. And is yeah. that... Is, is you, that you can get so lost in it that you're no longer yourself. Mm. Oh. And, that right. means, and we'll come to that. Yeah, well, let's, let's go through the, the, mm. the headlines here. The first one says, not spending time alone. Okay. Well, first of all, a relationship is a, a health experience everyone wants to be in. Truth is, no one stands alone. But if you get too submerged in a relationship that you do not have any time for yourself, then that's not a healthy sign. Because it suggests that all of a sudden you're no longer you. And it's no matter how long the relationship lasts, let me go to my own self. I'm married to Dolores now for 42 years. Congrats. How is Miss Dolores? Oh, Congrats. she's blooming. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Blooming. However, <laughs> well, uh, I don't know she what that remains, means. <laughs> she remains herself. Yes. And I remain me. And there are times when I want to be just by myself to discover me some more. Did you know that? To discover me some more. No, what, I'm ab what about some, some um, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend who work together? Mm -hmm. uh, they work at the same place. They might have a, run a business. Mm -hmm. they, so they spend, You ask me about Dolores and me. Yeah, they spend the mm -hmm. whole day together. Oh, yeah. that, something mm -hmm. wrong with that? No. No. Well, I, from my own experience, I've been her principal for many years. We work in the same school. We actually had a private business together. But when we go home, we're husband and wife, and we enjoy each other's company. We have never brought home issues from the business mm -hmm. or from school that impact life at home. We are able to dichotomize and separate. Yeah, but while you're at school, she'll be doing something, you'll be doing oh, something, yes. you're not really together. That, that is correct. What I want to okay. ask is, while you're at school, mm -hmm. do you sneak around the corner and get a little chips and thing, you know, like uh, in the storeroom and stuff? No. However, I'm not suggesting that if we end up not deciding to we snoop around here. Like, in the, does she but come to the principal's <laughs> office sometimes? Yes, and, and when she comes, when yeah. she comes, she comes as Mrs. Gordon. However, okay. that doesn't say that when she might be leaving, I might say, all right, Dell. No, she... <laughs> <laughs> With a little Dell. Of course. <laughs> Giving up your interests. Right. Um, what is it that... I particularly like to do before I got into the relationship or even while I was in the relationship? Have you learned any skill, any hobby, any pastimes mm. that you just love to be by yourself? If you have to give up all of those so as to be with him or her, that's not healthy. Because at the end of the day, you have your own taste, you have your own mm. sense of actualization and development. Mm. Mm. Having constant anxiety. Oh. Anxiety in a relationship. Yes. That's a sign of insecurity. Mm -hmm. That constant anxiety is, I wonder if he's going to be leaving me. Mm -hmm. I wonder if she's always going to be there for me. It suggests that, hmm, I wonder if there's somebody else waiting in the wind. Come mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. If the relationship is healthy, mm -hmm. you don't need to be wondering if, mm -hmm. I wonder if this is going to end. It's a very serious sign, mm -hmm. and you can end up losing yourself. Because your mind is... Because your mind is going away. Going away. Needing to be in constant contact. Okay. In my practice, I've seen many cases where spouse, fiancé, whoever says, he calls me 100 times for the day. And if the one time out of the 100, I did not answer, he gets panic. Mm. Why you didn't answer me? Yeah. I mean, I text you and I never heard from you. That suggests that, hey, are you thinking that... The one time when I never heard from you was somebody else with me. Again, mm. it's a sign of insecurity. Paranoia. So there is, there is, there is yeah. something wrong with calling? Um, no, it's healthy to call. But regularly? Neville, stop calling her every minute. Regular this is, is, this is the point. Stop calling her every hour. Did you hear me? 
regular is, is relative. relative. Yeah. It's quite fine to keep checking up with each other, but when it becomes over, inorn inordinate, it's mm -hmm. not good. Okay. What about when you can't or you won't make decisions on your own in a relationship? You always okay. need them to make the decision or to get if there. If he approval. or she is not around and I'm to wear this and I'm to take up that and say, oh, I wonder what he would think. No, nothing's wrong with checking with. But if he or she is not available, don't you have a mind of your own? Come mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. You should be able to take a decision. And if after things didn't work out, still stand by it because you took that decision. If you feel that everything you've got to ask him or her about, it means that person is gone with your mind. Lord. That's, that's, it's as serious as that. Uh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Needing their approval. Yeah. Uh, to want one approval. There's, something, there's a difference about wanting an <laughs> approval and needing an approval. Let's hmm. split hair. When you, it's healthy to want an approval. How do you think this looks? Do you feel approved of this? And if the person says yes, you feel big up. But if needing it, that suggests that if he or she never gave you that stamp of approval, oh dear, something is wrong. Mm. Again, it is suggesting that you're too dependent. But some of us are not as confident as, as, right. we, as we should be. So. I, I like how Empress, how she dresses. Mm -hmm. So I might say this morning, I'm not so certain for that shirt I'm going to wear. So I'm going to go to her and say, honey, what do you think? No, 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 I know your honey. You are my honey. You just, <laughs> you just don't know say you are my honey, but you are my honey. <laughs> yes. So there's anything wrong with that? Nothing is wrong with it. Honey. That is why I said, look here, that's why I split hair between wanting and needing. And needing. Yeah. Needing, needing is more a lack of confidence. Right. Yeah. Well, right. Less than a minute. The last yeah. one says you lose your identity. Okay. Mm -hmm. at the honey. End of, <laughs> at the end of the day, all that we have discussed mm -hmm. summarizes to that. Where you become so dependent. Mm. Your, your whole life now, you can't breathe without this person. Then when you look in the mirror, you're going to discover, wait a minute, who is this again? Mm -hmm. That's not me. Because mm -hmm. you're beginning to see the other person, you think the other person, you have lost yourself of identity. Mm -hmm. Any day he or she ever slip out, you done. Wow, this is, no, this is deep. No, I have to ask you something, no, yes. Mr. Gordon. I celebrated seven years of right. being a wife right, Steve, in training. Good. Because okay. I'm still learning about this wife world. Oh, yes. And it's been sweet, bitter, sour, mm -hmm. spicy. Good combination. Go all ahead. kind of flavors That's in seven right. years. Mm -hmm. Now, being the imperfect being that I am, mm -hmm. what does it mean when you get past the seven-year itch? Well, you have seven I, more, do I have seven more, have 50 seven more, 30? Well, I'll tell you what. Each seven year is yeah. seven year on its own. Yes. Each one is new. Right. Um, let me see now. Seven into 42 will tell you how many sevens I've gone through. What? Well, so 42? Yeah. 42, yes. 42 years with the one Dolores? Oh, yes. And I look forward to another 42 if the Lord will give it to You're us. You're not easy. Oh, yes. Gosh. Can, but can, each year is a learning experience. By the way, listen to the same person. Yes. Marriage is a school from which you'll never graduate. Hallelujah. It's a learning experience. Talk it, Mr. God. <laughs> Say hi to Mr. Praise the Lord. Hi, Del. Say hi to Mr. I know you're watching. Yeah. I love you. You're a darling. Right. God bless you. On, on behalf of me and honey. <laughs> honey. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Family relations. <laughs> Family relation, health, relational health, health specialist. You got it. Uh, Mr. Anthony Gordon. Always great to see you, sir. Thanks for coming. And bless Mrs. Gordon. <laughs>